So are you against, so for example, you say fun for six months. Obviously, that's a, a guy who's looking for a more casual situation. Are you, are you like pro the casual situation? Can, can that be healthy or is that always a no? Oh, yes. There's an ecosystem of women for a reason. Mm -hmm. Side chicks are necessary. Hoes are necessary. Concubines are necessary. Wifey types are necessary. You know, we were just talking prior to the show. Ryan was like, well, we'd be pretty fucked if women wanted to wait to have sex until it got serious. Exactly. That's why you need hoes. Mm. You see what I'm saying? You don't need all the women having morals and integrity. And it would be, we'd, we'd be having mass shootings increase. I agree. So some women you know are, just, are just here to fuck. <laughs> Man, shout, yeah. out to, shout out to the hoes. <laughs> shout yeah, out to you, the need, you need hoes. You so need maybe hoes. that's what they're doing. Maybe the hoes understand that too. And they embrace them being hoes. So maybe yeah. all these women exposing hoes. themselves online. Gold and, diggers are necessary. Mm. Yes. All ecosystem of women serve a purpose. Hmm. So now do you think, so a married man, is it safe to say that he should have, is it safe for him to have some hoes during no, marriage? No, he shouldn't have hoes. He can have a side chick, but he can't have hoes. Isn't that the same? No. Wow. What's the difference? Please I think ho hoes will bring you down, right? Like Yeah, hoes are dangerous. Yeah. Oh. You really only can fuck with hoes when you're on the come up and you don't have nothing to lose yet. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Okay, so, but, so side chicks. And, and explain it. So a side chick is a more of a woman who's like a role player. Yeah, side chick is she's dependable, she's trustworthy, she knows exactly what her job is. She's not gonna fuck your shit up. Yeah, and that's a good crazy. side chick. Okay, some men try to make hoes side chicks. You can't do that. You because hoes will expose you, exploit you, tell your business. You can't do that. Now you have some women who are side chicks. Some women are not mentally capable of living with a man full time. Like, some women will tell you, listen, I need him to give me something and go. Some women cannot live with a man, whether it be due past trauma. It could be her personality type. So those are the women normally who are ordained to be side chicks, and they're going to know. Me and him don't got no bills together, no kids together to strictly fund. My job is to not bicker. My job is to, you know, keep our business private, not call him after 10 o'clock. That keep a lot of people happy and sane. And should a, should a woman be okay with that? I think she should, shouldn't know about it. I would say so. As long as you keep your dirt, you know, what, what's in the so background. What's don't know? Don't hurt them. Mm. And, okay. And, and now does that count for women doing the same thing? Um, I, I guess it depends on the couple and what they've agreed to. But from what I've seen, most women don't want to have a side dude. Like married women or women in serious relationships don't want to because we tend to not get with a man unless he can fulfill us. Whereas men will get with a woman even if she's not fulfilling him. So normally if we're with you, like, you know, preparing pussy for one man mm. is a lot of work. Mm. <laughs> I like, I like you that You know phrase. what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. You have to you provide it. I like that. Yeah. full-time pussy. Then you want to add another part-time job on top of that? No, sir. Mm. You know, so most women are not like, I need a side dude. Half of the time, you're trying to keep up with your own guy, you know? So. Wow. So now we got even more respect for the hoes now because they're doing a lot of preparing. They, yes. I mean, they're serving their purpose. Respect the hoes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yo, that's a yo, collab shirt. Yeah. Respect, respect the hoes. The hoes. <laughs> hoes are important. Hoes are more important than the wifey types. Why is that? We could go our whole life without anyone ever getting married, but society could never go on without people stopping fucking. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I so, mean, fucking is a whole incentive. It's like the whole it reward. It creates life. It's how yeah. we get here. So if we stop getting married, okay, if we stop fucking, we will literally die. Honestly, it would be so, like, so much would change. The world would just go to shit if, if we would stop fucking. It's just like, what We is, would die off. What we would not reproduce. Is live? <laughs> so this, so this, is, this is interesting because this all came about with me asking about the casual situation and asking, figuring out whether or not it's healthy. And when, like, when is, ca like, casual sex for a woman, is casual sex healthy for a woman who, like, desires marriage long term? Can that ever be healthy for her? Um, I don't think so. Okay. So she should be going in straight for the gusto of trying to vet for a husband is what you're saying? Well, healthy women get attached to men they have sex with. I don't think that healthy women can have sex with a guy and afterwards be like, okay, bye. Like, she's having sex with him. She's going to get attached to him. So that's not casual. 
you know what? And so I've never heard anybody verbalize that, but I've thought no. that. Like yeah. women who say, like, yeah, I can fuck a guy with no feelings. I always thought a lot less yeah, of those that, women. Yeah, that's a broken, that's a woman who is, her femininity is broken. Her womanhood is broken. Mm. You should absolutely be attached. And not, not necessarily attached, but you should be bonded and you should be connected and have feelings for a man you're having sex with. So in essence, side chicks, hoes, all the other women outside of wives are all, to some extent, broken women. Normally, yes. Mm. Yeah. Is there a, like a some kind of conversion process where they can you know be reborn I again? Or? I don't think so. I don't think there needs to be one. Okay. I think we have enough women who want to be wives to men that want to be husbands. I think we're okay. So the hoes just hoes for life. Normally, yeah. And like, it's normally generational. Like normally, if her mama was a hoe, she probably a hoe too. Bam. Mm. So hoes is normally a generationally appointed job. She passed down a whole torch. That makes sense. So if you a first, if you a first generation hoe, you should really be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like your foremothers taught you better than that. Right, right, right. Yeah, Damn. yeah. Mm. And now you're probably gonna pass down a baton too. You know? <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. Wow. That's you know I, I like that you it's the ecosystem concept, and fellas, we now have full permission from Six the Goddess. If you don't have one, go cop you a couple side chicks. Not right. hoes. No, right. I did not say that. Hold on. Not hoes. And you don't got to make them orgasm either. No. It's up me, to them. See, uh-uh. Y'all ain't going to do that. Y'all ain't going to do that. No, 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 no. <laughs> we ain't going to do that. I am not saying that, okay? Side chicks are seasonal, okay? Mm. Uh, big problem I see. You know, if a man is still in that phase of his life where he's getting where he need to be and he got work to do, you don't deserve a side chick. Side chicks are for hardworking, stable men. Mm. Okay, if you can't afford to take your girl out to a five star, you can't have a side chick. And men don't understand that. What you do for one, you gotta be able to do it twice, then two times, three times. So you really need so, capacity at, the, at this point. So you need to have your resources, your stability. If if your woman is rocking with you, even when you're still in route to where you're going, you don't get to have a side chick. Now, once you get there, she good, the household good, then you've earned a side chick. But you really won't even get where you need to go if you always have a side chick because mm -hmm. your attention is so divided that you can't even really get there, and that can be detrimental. So not just because you're a man, you get a side chick. It's deserving, hardworking men get side chicks. Okay. It's not a broke man's game. No. This is absolutely ridiculous. To me, this is very concerning how... Six the goddess will sexualize the black community. And it's females like this who are part of the problem. Because we put them in a pedestal and it actually causes psychological damage damage, excuse me, within our community. And it's not just who she is, but it's what she's saying. This is how she views black men and herself as a sex toy or a sex symbol. Black men have no control. They're like these sex beasts who can't be satisfied without a concubine, hose, or side chick. We might as well all submit to our flesh because it's greater than the mind. The black man doesn't have control over his body or his mind because he's stuck digging through his eggplant. The black man can have control over his body so there'll be mad shootings everywhere. Because if every woman has integrity and morals, then the black man wouldn't know what to do with himself or what to do next. He'll be purposeless. We are giving degeneracy meaning. It's as if she put life to degeneracy when there was no life supposed to be there in the first place. Now we need hoes to be human. but not to rise above the mind, but fall on our belly that's full of dirt below. Let me know what type of female she is. These females don't have a place in society. They're cancerous. They'll do anything to be picked. They'll do anything to be seen. They'll do anything to be acknowledged, respected. Because females don't bring anything that is conducive they know this. She knows this. Which is why she's creating a space for people like her 
side chicks, hoes, concubines, to feel wanted in society. The rejects feel rejected. Because no one wants part of this mindset. No one wants parts of this to be taught to their children, sons or daughters. They don't have no purpose. Honestly, what is a gold digger's purpose in the ecosystem? How does she elevate the black man and woman? How does she help them to be free from the system? What is she che- teaching her daughters? Because all I'm hearing is how she submits to her own lust and the man's lust. A slave to her flesh and serves the men who are slaves to their own flesh. Because they are so unconscious they can't go higher than their flesh. I've honestly lost so much respect. Because this type of message is very harmful to the black community. And for someone who speaks about femininity and how to be connected to it, it seems that you are so far from being connected to your own. I want people to take a good look at this and how these females are struggling to find where they fit in society without marriage, without a man. How they don't know what to do, who to serve, and how to do it. This is a female who submits to her lust. And the side chick and the hoes and the gold diggers are two of the same people. Side chick hoes, two of the same people. They don't submit to a man, but they submit to their lust and greed. And a man who has one is a man who is lacking because he should be busy with himself, his family, his legacy, and the next generation to come. Which is why they're all the same. They all submit to their lust and greed. A man who does that, he's a whoremonger. A female, she's a whore. So let's not try and separate the two and give them individual meanings when they're all the same. They're all doing the same thing. Trying to give side chicks and hoes different roles in society. This is where feminism is playing its role in the black community. Respect the hoes, respect the gold diggers, the side chicks, because they're uplifting the black community and it's to liberate them and their promiscuity. Doesn't that ring a bell a little bit? The problem I have with the statement, we can go on with the world without marriage but not effing, there's no ground to walk on. Life is created through intercourse, of course. But when life is given, there were rules to be followed. When life was given to Adam, he was perfect under God's eyes. So if people follow this sentence without any context, well, the life will be a detriment to itself. Life without morals, integrity, discipline or standards only produces degeneracy. Clearly, Six the Goddess thinks life was created without laws of nature, without the laws of God. So my point is creating life is not meaningless act like effing. When life is being created, it's being made and there's a responsibility you need to uphold. This is where marriage creates that space for you to do that. It sets boundaries which actually protects the life you created, not opposed against it. We're already dying because of the lack of boundaries, regardless these side chicks and hoes. They're all dying alone. So are you actually creating life or are we opposing against it? She identifies that the side chicks and the hoes are broken, but we still need it to be in the ecosystem, something that's broken? Meaningless intercourse is needed? This is what our eco this is what the black ecosystem needs right now. A bunch of broken souls to influence the community. Just what we need, right? And she is the exact female she speaks about, which is why she would say that side chicks are made for men or affluent men. 
hard-working man not the unstable one little does she know or she does know this that every man broke man they all have their side chicks it's a man's game any dusty can have a side chick but she don't want to be the dusty side chick with a dusty man so she will give herself this luxury of the type of man that she can have and lastly this female she is closely knitted to Danica and ladies I want to say this be careful with who your friends are why well in the statement that she made Danica's man deserves excuse me, Danika's husband deserves a side chick who she isn't supposed to know about. In her statement, there's enough married women, there's enough morals, women who have integrity. Danika isn't needed in society, but the side chicks, the husbands are sleeping with, are more useful today. This is normal. That these females would do anything to take over a place, a woman's place, because there's no place for them. And guess what? There never was one to begin with. God made Adam and Eve, not Adam, Eve and Ava. What you're seeing is black females being rebellious over the laws or the natural laws of God and putting the black community down with it. The black community needs to be careful for females like this that want to uplift degeneracy to the black community. There's actually a detriment not only to the black community but the next generation and the children and daughters and sons. We have a lot of these influencers that do not want to push anything that is actually going to uplift the community but only uplift themselves. Let me know what you think. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Bye!